So, Tuka Rask has opted out of the NHL's return to play bubble thing. And he's been getting a lot of hate from Bruins fans and fans on Twitter. And it's it's really not deserved. And I don't understand it either. I mean, mental health is really important. Um, I understand he's making a lot of money and that's a lot of people's concern. But you got to understand, he's got... He's got his daughter at home and his and his wife in that like and we don't know his situation. We don't know what happens behind closed doors, and if he is going be going back home because it's a mental health thing, good on him. He's 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 taking some sort of a stand, something that that is it should be talked about more often in the NHL. These guys spend more than enough time as it is without COVID away from their family. And I, I can I can completely respect and understand Tukarask's decision in all this. You gotta understand too, yesterday he Tukarask released a statement saying how it did not feel like the playoffs. It felt like an exhibition game with no fans. He just wasn't in the right headspace. He made that clear. He he told us that. He told everyone that. He told the media that. It was known league wide. So Bruins fans who are mad at him for doing this, and I don't understand why, you, you need to see it as this. If he's not in the right headspace, why would you want a guy like that between the pipes for your team? Why, why would you want a guy like that in your net? Seriously. I know that, it, being a Leafs fan, I know that if Frederick Anderson came into this and said, look, I'm not in the right headspace, I'm not going to play as good as I think I'm going to play, I'm opting out. I've got stuff going on at home. I've got family issues. I've got a kid. I've got whatever. And Jack Campbell had to go in. Yeah, it's a little, it, it, it's like, oh, okay. But you got to understand, like, he's not just a puppet just because he signed a contract with an NHL team. He's, he's got, Tuka Rask has his own issues. He's got, he's got family in that. He's, we, and we don't know his situation. Sid Sixero actually just released a tweet saying Tuka Rask doesn't owe anyone a damn thing, and that's actually very true. He doesn't owe anyone any explanation. It's his right to opt out of this. Players were given the option to opt out before it even all started. You should be proud that he at least said, you know what, maybe I'm not too sure about this. I'll go in, see how I do, and maybe he just wasn't in the right headspace. We don't know. Being a guy that has played hockey in the OMHA and that I understand wanting to be there for your teammates, but at the same time, if there was ever something that needed to be done at home, like that's that always always came first. And I don't think it should matter even at the professional level. I understand he's making a big paycheck, but you got to remember too, he gave you 13 years, Bruins fans. He gave you 13 years of Vesna Award-winning goalie and got you a Stanley Cup in 2011. I think you guys need to go a little bit easier on him. He's not a quitter. And he's not giving up on his teammates. He just isn't in the right headspace and he's doing the right thing. If he's really not and he's saying, you know what? If you guys are looking at me to make these these big saves and in the back of my mind all I'm thinking about is, is my daughter okay? Then I'm alright with him going home. I, I, I think he's doing a good thing. I think he's doing the right thing. And I think you guys, some of you guys need to get off his back about it. You gotta remember too, this is coming from a Leafs fan. And, and like... I'm not, I don't hate Boston, I'm not a Boston fan by any means, but I respect all the teams in the league, and I can talk hockey, okay? And I can also talk mental health, and that's important. There's there's a lot of tweets going around saying, um, you know, if, if you retweeted the, the hashtag bell, let's talk, and you're you're saying that Tuka Rask is, is weak, if he's this, he's that, he's a quitter, then you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. If you retweeted the Bell Let's Talk and you're bashing Rask, you're a hypocrite. And I 100% agree with all those statements that people are saying on Twitter about you. And I'm not sorry about it. For those of you who are supporting Rask, good on you. Um, I don't really want to bring this... I don't want to bring this any more attention than it already has. I just simply wanted to, to address the Bruins fans and just kind of say what's going on. And I think at this point... Just let Rask chill. Um, stop with the rude replies on Twitter on everything. I, he's going to see it. If he's on Twitter, which actually I don't know if he is, but if he sees it, that you know that's just heartbreaking. He's not giving up on his team. He's not He's not trying to, to be the bad guy. He's, he's doing what's right for him. And in these situations, sometimes you have to put yourself first. So get on your Rask, and yeah.
Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to address those few things. Thanks so much for coming to check out the the, uh, the channel on that. And uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Uh, subscribe if you uh, want to see more content. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys.